What's up everyone? This is the aerodynamics of a rubber duck. And we have a couple of things in this one. We have the surface pressure and that goes from minus 400 to 400 pascals. And we have the streamlines. And immediately you can see, we can orbit them a bit later, but right now you can see how all these streamlines, they just are pretty tight afterwards. Look how uh, the diameter of them upstream. Look at the diameter of them downstream. So they are fairly tight. As we go downstream, you can see this really cool vortex formation. So this is behind the tail of the duck. And you have one vortex forming on the other one side and another vortex on the other side. And then these streamlines in the middle just shooting up. So that's pretty cool. And then the flow over its head impacts the tail. And right here, you get a really good appreciation of how streamlined this duck actually is. It's, it's far better than what you'd expect to begin with. So if you look at these streamlines down here, look how low they start. And they go even lower, obviously, to go up around the duck. But then they shoot up so high, so they end up, look at how they are downstream up here compared to upstream. So the streamlines are very tight now. And just there you can see some streamlines from the head impacting the towel and then going around. So I'm pretty impressed with this duck. And this is the uh, y plane with the velocity going from left to right and the coloring is the velocity. And we're gonna go through the duck and you can see that the wake is not too bad. You have obviously some weight from the head and that impacts the towel that blew there. But then about here, you can see that the wake is, has a slight angle up. So it indicates the duck is producing a little bit of downforce, which is the opposite of lift. So you can think of it as like negative lift. And there's some flow, flow acceleration around the edges of the duck and over the head. So make sure to check out the uh, International Aerodynamics Conference we put on every year. It's for aerodynamicists who love talking about aerodynamics to go and talk about what they do. We also have aerodynamics courses. We have experimental, CFD, and theoretical to make you a better aerodynamicist. And check out the Atmosphere Hawk and our other instruments that we make to make your experiments better, including a new PIV one we're just getting up online. So check them out. Peace out.